Hello out there, Tony Baker from Six Train Country. Today we're going to be looking at Traveling Band by Credence Clearwater Revival, written by John Fogarty, and this is going to cap off our five song series uh, exploring the music and the guitar playing of CCR. Traveling Band is a great crowd pleaser, it's a fun song, there's some rocking guitar parts in it. Uh, the main guitar rhythm part is just basically this blues form. <laughs> You know, just following the chord progression, right? It's 12 bar blues, but it's a little bit different order than we're maybe used to playing. Uh, and then there's a very subtle second guitar part that's doing more. That kind of thing. And then that guitar is also gonna play uh, the two great rock and solos that John Fogarty does on the recording. lead part and when we're not doing the solos we are going to cover both solos one and two in this video but when we're not doing the solos we're going to be covering this very subtle rhythm part that you can hear in the recording um, that's playing fuller chords than the that whole thing going on we're just going to be doing this kind of thing Uh, that was the introduction, okay? Once we get this introduction down, everything's gonna fall into place really nicely on this, on this rhythm part. So let's start by uh, just getting our fingers on these bar chords. Uh, might be easier, more familiar to you just to start on this F sharp. As far as I can tell, CCR does play uh, this song in the key of F sharp. They don't do a different tuning. I, I looked to me like it was standard tuning and they were playing in F sharp. So we just got our pointer finger barring this whole second fret. Then we have on the A string, fourth fret, fourth fret of D, first fret of G. And that is a major bar chord. Now slide that whole thing up. Instead of starting on the second fret, we're gonna start on the ninth fret. That's a C sharp starting. Uh, and then we're gonna get to this first guitar solo. For this first guitar solo, it's not many notes, but you gotta feel, uh, you gotta feel it a little bit. Uh, when you're just starting to learn it, I'll tell you a trick for counting too. But it's just a lot of the same thing um, over the chord changes. Then we do make one change and go to a different string set. But here's how it looks. So we're just getting done with... Uh, I'm going to do this. One, two, three, four. just got a couple finger positions going on here. We're starting with our pointer finger on the 14th fret of high E and our pinky on the 17th fret of the B string. And we're bending that uh, B string to up to meet pitch. Right? We're starting with just picking that high E string. I like to do an upstroke. Upstroke verses. Uh, and then we get to the second solo, which is a really cool solo that kind of follows the chord progression. It starts, the chord progression starts on a B, and we're start, we start by outlining a B. Right? 
then we outline an F sharp chord. Here's F sharp and then here. And we slide into that one. Then we go back to the B. Then the C sharp again. As I mentioned, we're going to start by outlining this B. We're going to slide in to the 8th fret of G and then uh, 7 of B and high E. And then we're going to do uh, 6 times of... So we're just, we're pick, uh, on 10th fret of B and then we have the seventh fret of high E. We're gonna, like I said, six times. In this tutorial on the bridge, we're gonna be learning the electric rhythm part, uh, which is this blues pattern that we're gonna move across uh, a few different chords. Once we get that under our fingers through the first verse, it's all gonna fall into place very easily after that. At that point, uh, we just need to be paying attention to the chord chart and remember some of the little subtle variations that we're gonna do throughout the song. Okay, so let's jump right in and get our fingers on this introduction. Uh, they play it in F sharp, and we're, you know, we're going to play it like they do on the recording. They played it in F sharp live too, so they don't uh, change tunings. As far as I can tell, they played it in standard tuning and um, played it in the key of F sharp. So we're starting on a C sharp. Start by getting some players I've seen play it like this. Me, I've just always done it like this from when I was a kid learning how to play guitar. I'm gonna have fourth fret, sixth fret with my pointer finger and my ring finger on the A and the D strings, and then Pinky's gonna be alternating up here on the eighth fret. And the pattern is... All right, we're just doing a steady down, up, down, up. 